Nintendo Fate channel. Checking in. Jonathan here, and today we're going to be talking about body armor. Do you need, should you have body armor as part of your home defenses? It's a crazy world out there, so I think we need to talk about it. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I am just a dad of two, and on these gadget reviews I drop every Sunday at 1 p.m., I just go over things that I use that come across my desk that I find useful or that I just happen to think are worth discussing to hopefully provide some insight to you. Before I get started, I want to have your thoughts, so comment down below. Do you think you need to own to set up bulletproof vests as part of your home defenses. I'm always curious about your thoughts. As far as bulletproof armor goes, the reality is there's no such thing. Bulletproof vests come in all different ratings. And if you have a caliber bullet big enough and it's moving fast enough, it will literally go through anything. So bulletproof vests have all different types, shapes, and sizes able to withstand everything from a 22 all the way up to a very large and fast moving rifle round. I will tell you that there are two types of damage that happens when you get shot at. Number one, as you can imagine, penetration. It's fairly self-explanatory. But what people don't realize that even if they stop the bullet from penetrating their skin, the percussion blast can absolutely rupture and destroy internal organs. It's almost as serious as that actual penetration. To better illustrate some of the talking points I'm going to be discussing, I have the Tacticon plate carrier. Now this is a veteran owned company. This comes in at the plate it's carrier itself comes in at about $100 free shipping. There are coupon codes out there. I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. I also have their AR500 plate that is capable of withstanding certain rifle rounds. And because you've got that ballistics uh, force that you need to protect against, I've got their trauma plate here to kind of show you how it all goes together. This Tacticon plate carrier has Velcro up top, molly webbing on the front. It also has a front pocket down in here. On the back, you get more molly webbing, more Velcro, and you've got something you can hook this on if you wanted. But in reality, in the battlefield, on the, on, in the streets, I guess you would say, if you are in that world, this is something that one of your battle buddies could drag you from uh, in case of an emergency, in case you were down. There are buckles at the top and buckles on the side so that you can put this on a little bit quicker. It also comes with this waist strap that has molly webbing and it has pockets if you wanted to add trauma packs and extra plates along the side. This comes attached. I have removed it in order to make this easier to go on and come off, as well as the fact that I just don't plan on using the molly webbing and I don't have the side plates, so it's not necessary. These trauma pads are light and there's almost nothing to them. However, I'm sure there's material in there specifically placed and designed to spread out that ballistics force to help prevent you from having serious injuries. These ballistic plates, they're solid. They weigh eight pounds a piece and they're able to withstand a threat level three plus. I'll put a photo up here of what those threat levels mean. Um, if you go to their website, and I'll, I'll put the website here and in the description, man, it's a blast to go there, pardon the pun. They've got so many different options. You can actually get lighter plates that are capable of withstanding higher caliber, faster moving rounds, so that if you are really, really serious about getting a light vest, but having crazy home security, that is something you could consider. But overall, when you strap this thing down with both of the plates and the trauma pads, you are looking at at least a 20 pound vester right around there. If you add on the side trauma packs and plates, you're definitely gonna be over 20 pounds. Even if you have this thing 100 prepared and staged, I still think it's gonna be too awkward and too bulky in order to realistically throw this thing on when you go into your home defenses. And frankly, it's gonna be super heavy. And I have to ask, if you are concerned about rifle rounds with regards to someone breaking into your home, you might be living in the wrong neighborhood or you might be up to no good with someone kicking down your door with an actual rifle in hopes of trying to do you and your family bodily harm. This thing is like military grade. This thing is meant for full battle rattle. It's meant to be out in the field. It's got all the straps, the bells, the whistles. It is absolutely beautiful. 
However, it's just not realistic in a home environment. There are more, there are different style vests that might be more conducive to having at home that are not only lighter, easier to kind of just slip on over the shoulders. I do know with this vest, if you use it often, if you get used to it, if you line it up right, you can get used to putting this on and taking it off rather quickly. But again, in a home environment where you are not setting the time and the place, guess what? It's just not going to be something you're going to want to go for first and foremost. However, now I just spent like four minutes, five minutes telling you that you don't need a home bulletproof vest for defense. And the reality is we live in a crazy world. Now, I would say that realistically, it's not something that you need or realistically, it's not something that you're going to grab in the emergency situation. But I don't blame anyone for going out and getting one just to have one. How long do they last? Well, they've got a lifetime guarantee. That's right. Tacticon actually guarantees these plates and they'll replace them. If you live in a crazy world and you get shot with one of these, they will literally replace it. As long as you have a police file to show them proof of it, they'll replace it. Um, and stuff like this does last a lifetime in your home. So it is something that if you are considering it, you might want to at least look at the website and dive down into all the different types of body armor or bulletproof vests that are available. There are some for home use, there are some for more professional use, and there's everything else in between. You gotta figure out what is right for you. Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of people I know, will actually get a bulletproof vest and use it not only for home defense, but also use it for working out, for training, for muscle ups, for Murph, and all that great stuff. Could you use this Tacton plate carrier for um, for working out? Yes and no. The truth is, it is big, it is bulky. It certainly has the weight of a weighted vest, so you're good there. But in terms of mobility and in terms of getting it on and getting it off, there's a lot more sleek, slimmed down versions of plate carriers that people often will use if they are interested in CrossFit or they're interested in doing Murph or Chad or other types of weighted vest exercises that make it just a little bit more convenient for range of motion and for ease of use. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. Comment down below, where did I go right? Where did I go wrong? What am I completely missing? By no means am I an expert, but I would love your input. If you're interested in future dad gadget reviews, please hit the subscribe button. Hell, give the video a like. I will drop videos every Sunday at 1 p.m. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.